Hey, Metalworking Nation, Jim here from Making Chips, and welcome to Making Chips TV. Just like Jason and I do on the podcast, our mission is to equip and inspire you, the Metalworking Nation, with more relevant info. Welcome. Today, I want to talk with you about collections. It can be a stressful issue, but with some tips I've learned, hopefully we can mitigate them together and get you paid faster. Believe me, this is not a silver bullet, but a process that I've been using for some time with good success. As you know, standard terms for most companies are net 30. However, not everybody pays within those terms. I'd like to share with you the process we use here at Car Machine, and hopefully by implementing some of those tips, you'll have more bucks in the bank in a timely manner. First off, before we start evaluating and working with the customer, we pull a Dun & Bradstreet report as a benchmark of the customer's overall credit. Once we establish a credit amount, we do send a formal letter that says, you've been approved for X amount of dollars. Once they are invoiced, my office manager and I review the accounts receivable once a week and discuss payment trends. Our discussions start when the invoices are at 45 days. From that point on, we are touching the customer through calls, voicemail, and email once a week using simple dialogue like, we are just checking in to see how these invoices are looking and when they'll be paid. Once they're at 60 days, we turn up the heat. My dad used to say, a red light starts to flash. And my office manager begins calling and emailing at least once a week. If the customer says they're struggling with cash flow, I immediately offer them to pay with a credit card. I know there is an approximate 3% fee you pay, but getting paid here is the objective. And then the labor time involved in following up just goes right away. It's a good to use a two-stop process of communicating. Leave a voicemail, send an email. It is critical to have good communication within your own company and have a proactive plan on what you're going to do. One very important element is to remain calm and professional. Your customer is struggling through a hard time. And although it's difficult, try and be sympathetic with them and say things like, I feel your pain. It will get better. I do understand. And you're a great customer. Kill them with kindness. I'm telling you, it goes a long way. But do not stop engaging. Take notes on what they're telling you. Document your phone call so you remember exactly what they said. You'll be able to see if they're telling the truth as their story won't change. I can't tell you what your threshold is for holding out, but I do know that if you have a consistent process, tenacity, and are polite and professional, that you should eventually get paid. Good luck. Did that help you? Do you think you can implement some of these techniques into your own collection system? Do you have any tips to share with me or the, the metalworking nation? Give me some feedback. I want to hear about it. I especially love success stories. Call me at Making Ships at 312-725-0245 and leave me a message. Or email me at jim at makingchips.com. If you want, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you like this series, hit that subscribe button to get updates on our next episode and then click the like button. As I always say at the end of our shows and has been a mantra for our industry, if you're not making chips, you're not making money. Bam.